I can't believe this thing is getting turboed real soon. Clock is ticking. Things are happening. We are almost there. Rolling? Alright. You wanna do the intro? I do not. I don't have an intro, do I? Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, it's welcome Chris back. Fix here. D Fix here. Ready to fix D car. Alright y'all, welcome back to TLS Gang Headquarters. It's Deontay. <laughs> don't laugh, you can't laugh. Let me redo that? No, go ahead. Alright y'all, welcome back. TLS Gang Headquarters here. Back with the last episode of the MRP, Little Brothers MRP TLS. I'm gonna tell you guys what we're doing today and what we've done so far. Today, the plan is to remove the valve covers, replace the seals, and get it back together. This is our trial, because I have to do it on my car eventually. This car, when it's idling, it's just noisy, and that comes from just over revving, and after a lot of miles, it needs a valve adjustment, and hopefully that quiets down the idle, and all the noise we got coming from this. So Cisco, I found someone to weld the turbo manifold. We're this close. Uh, we sent him the whole build idea. It's not gonna go in this weekend. It'll probably be next weekend if I end up going on with this guy. And his turnaround time is gonna be like two weeks. So guys, it's like right around the corner. This car will be turboed. Before that happens, we have to heat wrap and protect everything in here because the turbo is gonna be sitting right here, kind of facing that way. And then the hot side will go out right here and through uh, kind of right over the top of the, it's dark, but over the, uh, the clutch cable. Everything inside of here needs to be wrapped. So when the time comes, we'll be filming that. Are you all zoomed in on me? No, I'm not. Okay. We're just trying to fit your lips in the screen. A couple things for today's video. We're gonna be using the Felpro kit. And then also we got a um, P2R. Uh, it's the gasket that goes over the runners. We got the honeycomb rear visor. And we also got the door visors. Been sun faded. Pretty good up here. And that's gonna cover all that up. Right? My brother gets a little bit more money. The plan is to paint the hood, the fenders, the rear bumper, the rear spoiler, and then we're gonna be wrapping the top black. He, he's also been talking about getting some coils. So the car will be looking pretty good. All right, so the question is, do we give them- Did you just do that? I'm recording, it's oh. for my cut. All right, so the question is, do we film you guys a full tutorial? I'm just gonna practice for now. And then the good part, also forgot to mention, we bought some Wrinkle Plus black paint. And I think I might be doing that to my little brother's valve covers as well. He doesn't deserve me, does he? You don't deserve me, really. Oh, oh that, that's, man, yeah, way, yeah. To, way to flip the Uno card on me. Yeah. Huh? The, the reverse card, I mean. Yeah. yeah, man, now I feel bad. I know. And it's like 35 degrees. Bro, are you all right? I'm chilling. Can I order some food for us? Hey, let's do it. Order some food? No. Right, I'm going to order some food. <laughs> I'm not trying to stay that late. <laughs> I'm not going to try to stay that late. I'm just going to give them the first step so, so they can have at least some nuggets to take away from the video, right? I love nuggets. So first step, you're going to want to remove the oil cap. Yeah. And the oil drain. We need a longer dipstick. It's not touching the oil anymore. That's so you. smart. I know. Amazon. That, that's pretty smart. So I'm going to order a dipstick for like a Cummins. First step, you're going to want to know what you're working with, you know? So what size is this motor? It's a, it's, it's a big size. Good job. Where's the valve covers located? Uh, under the car. Good job. And how are we going to get to them? We're going to take the seats out. Good job. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> for real, right? First thing, first step, unplug all the sensors, okay? Nah, Second step, I don't like it, don't like it. Pull off all the hoses don't and stuff like connected to. I'm not feeling that plan. I'm oh, not feeling what's your that. plan? We save it for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. It's the next day, dude. I know. You ready to get started? No, let's do it again <laughs> tomorrow. First things first, we're gonna disconnect the intake and unplug all the sensors so we can get this guy free. We'll pull off all the bolts off top of here, access the six or eight bolts that are underneath there, get this guy removed.
yo, get the speaker box loud, hitting that stuff till you hearing that sound. can't reuse these I would <laughs> so here are our valve covers once you're in here it's pretty easy uh, you're gonna have a couple 10 millimeters right here holding this electrical bracket same thing on the back side and we're gonna start pulling off the coil packs unplugging this stuff also I see a lot of people they remove the dipstick because this plastic's fragile you don't want to accidentally start yanking on the valve cover with that thing in there okay Good job. Thanks, dude. Good job. I know I could help. Wow. This is what happens, guys, when you're negligent on your oil changes. The back side looks better. Not as dark as the front side. I know the light's more on the front, but if I go like this, you guys can see it looks a little bit better over here. But yeah, right here was the big leak in the front. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have leaking valve cover so hopefully this video helps someone ready for her valve adjustment make sure we get it cleaned up best we can but valves come off what does that take us what 30 minutes Cold, not that bad but we're gonna be painting these guys so let's get them prepped need to run to harbor freight and grab the valve adjustment tool so i'll be showing you guys that tomorrow we'll be doing that tomorrow yeah what else do you want to do today uh uh go to sleep Maybe shower. Install the visors? Mm. <laughs> this guy's so lazy. <laughs> no, we Office did a lot tour. today. What do you mean we did a lot? We haven't done nothing. Well, it looks like we did a lot. Just gonna use some parts cleaner to clean up these. As we were trying to get the middle one out, let me see if I can get some better light. We were trying to get this middle one out. You guys can see I just broke the valve cover. And ugly. We want this to be possible. We don't. The only reason I decided to break this open and clean it out, I knew that when I was spraying into the top side of it and cleaning it, that all my cleaner was just getting inside of here and it, just, it was just bothering me in my head knowing that there was cleaner in there 
and it could mess with I, I don't know I'm just afraid that there would be stuff like this a couple things you have to be very careful of and thankfully I didn't break them but these two tabs right here after you remove all the bolts seen a lot of people put this thing into the oven and then they can pry it open because of the Honda bond that goes around the seal really holds it down there real tight and uh, putting it in the oven for a good 10 minutes at 200 degrees makes it to where you can pry it open way easier I didn't even think of that when I did this but thankfully we didn't break any of these little tabs right here and I just used two screwdrivers after removing all the bolts and it pried open so also we're not gonna go the whole hundred miles and port and polish and everything I'm just cleaning it up it looks a million times better already So we just got these prepped up for some black wrinkle plus paint one thing it does mention on the can though is the spray between 60 and 95 degrees and it's like 32 outside right now and it's cold in here so i'm gonna hold off on this oh, i can't think of a place that i can do this at right now as you guys saw we went ahead and we were just gonna reuse this valve cover look it went in there real snug and i don't think that's gonna leak and if it does it's the front one so very easy to get to i can swap it out when a new one comes we hit all the spots where the air is supposed to flow fairly decently i mean it took me like two hours to do all that i don't have more time than this i think if we go ahead and just wire brush the outside of this and hope it looks clean i think we just do that to the whole entire outside of this and it'll look good with the black all right just inked out the spark plugs ready to do this valve adjustment not looking forward to it especially this front one i feel like these 10 millimeters up top are gonna be really tight all right down below we have our ratchet going into the crank bolt and what we're gonna do is pull off this cover right here inside of there there's these marks as you can see we're on a mark right now by accident but right above it it says let me try to get my camera down there so right above that mark it says four I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this on camera, but that is cylinder number four that we're gonna be adjusting. We're gonna spin the motor counterclockwise and uh, we'll, we'll line up the little mark, see what number is on there, and then we'll adjust accordingly. I think uh, for you, I think this would be best. Got this, so you don't have to handle it. No, the big boy. I don't well, know if you yeah, can yeah. handle that. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I can handle it. Here, yeah, no. Cisco you size. Go. Are you going counterclockwise? I'm going clockwise. No, go counterclockwise. You had it set up clockwise. Or My bad. A little bit more. A little, right, right there. Perfect. We're on three. I don't want to do three first. <laughs> Keep going. Right there. Boom. That's five. I want to start with five. Up top, there's supposed to be a sticker right here that will actually have the valve adjustment numbers on it. I'll show you on these cars over here. See right up here. Valve last adjustment. 22 on the intake and 30 on the exhaust side you see it Cisco we got uh, this one looks different uh, what all right so the type S's don't have stickers I don't know if they're the same though so now I have to just google it we have our 30 millimeter feeler gauge that one actually feels pretty good but maybe a little bit loose if it's close we're not even gonna touch it there we go, I got it in. The other side's looking pretty good. This side, there's a little bit of, it's a little stick and stuck in there. That special tool we ordered isn't gonna be here till the 13th and I don't have that much time. There we go. Broke it loose. Did you see it move? Mm-hmm. Then we'll just move that a little bit. We'll Retighten it. Take our cage. No, you see, all that, see how that's loose? Yeah. So I think I just tightened it a little too much. Honestly, we probably cut enough. It's a very slight adjustment. All 
right, y'all. Officially time to start reassembling this mess. Just wrapped up the valve cover painting and the wrinkle didn't really turn out as wrinkly as it should have because like I was saying earlier, it's kind of cold here in the shop. If you guys are doing this, don't do it in the freezing cold. But we did the top plate and we did the valve covers and they're ready to get slapped back into the TL. Since I decided to take apart the manifold, we're gonna be using this Honda Bond right here to put it all back together. So pretty much you go through these grooves right here with Honda Bond, a nice light bead through the whole thing and we're gonna give it a good two days to cure before my little brother comes and picks up this car. Mind you guys now, this has been four days of working on this car and that's just a couple hours after each work shift um, that I'm able to even put my hands onto it. But it's going together, everything's going smoothly except for what happened to the valve cover but we're gonna try to reuse it and salvage it. I put a help story up on the Instagram and a couple people came to the rescue. I ended up buying a used set and they should be here anytime, but I'm gonna use these for the car. If we have any leaks, we'll end up using the new ones that are coming in. The service is done. It's finally assembly time. Roll the time lapse. Moment of truth guys, we just got done putting everything together, double checking, triple checking, making sure everything's tightened down really quick. Um, the bolts up here and when you're putting on the plenum, they're supposed to go in a certain order. So you guys saw those photos during the time lapse, but that is a very important step in properly sealing this thing uh, the best we can. Moment of truth though, we're going to start off the car and see if there's any more check engine lights. If we fix that. That'll be huge. We made very slight adjustment on the valve, but we went through all the sensors. All the sensors got cleaned. All the seals got replaced. If we did all the work right, guys, it should have run like a champ. All right, here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Just to warm it up. So we got a little belt squeak that has come up. Still a little bit noisy up here. No check engine light. We have no check engine light, guys. We deserve a thumbs up on today's video just for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
No check engine light, guys. We got no check engine light, guys. I don't know what we did. I sent my little brother a photo of all this work done, right? I just sent my little brother a photo. You know what he said? He just said, looks clean. The wheels back on, the bumper back on. Bumpers on, things are looking good. We got one more thing we need to do. We got the back on, the front is not fitting the way I wanted it to. The rear one though looks the best and fit the best actually. It sticks super good on there and it won't go anywhere. Fitment on this side, pretty good. Fixing little brother's MRP TL Type S is officially over. And we spice things up in the engine bay with a very long video for you guys. I hope you guys learned something watching this video. And I hope my information was accurate and easy to follow. Finally, the last late night we spent here at the shop working on this thing and we can finally start working on my car. He's gonna be here tomorrow morning to pick it up and he is going to like what he sees. Thank you guys for watching today's video. We will see you in the next one working on my car next time. Bye-bye.